Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at the Isle of Cats, and I've got a hold full of blemigans and lots and lots of red honey. So, what I'm going to do is take a meandering pathway back to London. So I want to go back to London to restock all my stuff and, of course, sell the red honey, and hopefully turn a pretty damn good profit. And I don't... I, I really need to get rid of these blemigans because they're taking up hold space. And my old space is very precious, but they're kind of adorable, and I don't, I don't want to just dump them in the sea or something like that. You know, I want, I want them to go to good homes. So I'm going to take a meandering pathway back and try to stop at a bunch of different places to hopefully get rid of all or most of them onto these different islands. So instead of just going straight to London, I am going to go over to the Fathom King's Hold, and then from there probably up to the Mangrove College. And then maybe to, like, Polythreme, Godfall, Con Shadow. You know, kind of go, like, over here and then up and kind of around here back to London. So sort of like a kind of a, a bracket shape here. So let's go do that. I don't think I have enough fuel to actually do that yet. So even though fuel is really expensive here, about twice normal price back at London, 20 instead of 10, I'm still going to buy some. Yeah, it should be fine. Don't need supplies, because I'm, I'm going to take a stop at Mangrove College, which will allow me to use my something awaits me at port to get a bunch. And, um, I think we're good. Alright, so time to go southeast a little bit. To the Fathom King's Hold. I feel like there was something there to drop off a Blemigan. I don't actually remember, but eh, it's been a while since I've been there anyway. Want to see what's going on with the drowned god or king, whatever he is? And plus, it's just really, really pretty. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Put a Blemigan ashore. Alright, but first let's get a port report. Alright, let's do it. It's dark and damp here, with many crevices where it can hide. The Blemigan should flourish, so long as it avoids the Fathom King's notice. An unexpected welcome. A gift from the Mycilagian Mother. I don't think I pronounced that right. The porter says dispassionately. The Fathom King will be pleased. Here, for your trouble. Gained a propagation of Blemigans, lost a docile, blah blah blah. Gained a Drowning Pearl. Oh, cool, thank you. Alright, so yeah, apparently the Fathom King is actually pleased at my... <laughs> my, my gift. It wasn't meant to be a gift. It was meant to, I was meant to hide it from the Fathom King, but if they want to take it that way, then no problem. Yeah, so Mycelagian or Mycelagian, something like that, mother. I think that's like these uh, Blemigans are supposed to be fungusy, right? I think Mycela, Mycelia, something like that. I think that's the like the base word there. I think is some sort of a fungus, I believe. So I think that's what that means by the Maselagian mother. It's like the the mother fungus or or whatever. God, there's a thought. The mother fungus. That's probably an actual entity in this world. That would not surprise me. Okay, let's go north to the Mangrove College. Ooh, you know what? They probably love to study the Blemigans of the Mangrove College. They probably welcome them. I'm gonna get so much money when I get back to London. Am I gonna be able to afford a new ship? I might be able to. I don't remember how much they cost. It's gonna be close, though. I had around 5,000 when I bought 
uh, when I bought the red honey. And if I remember right, I think the amount of profit I'm going to get is about 2,000 profit, so I should be left with about 7,000. That might be enough. Which reminds me, I keep forgetting to check whether they actually sell ships at the places where I'm stopping. Hey, how's it going? That thing does not have a back weapon, so I'm just gonna run right in there, turn on my lights, whatever. Hey, how's it going? Restless night. All right, battling a ship. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's deal with my dreams while I'm shooting at a ship. Uh, ignore them. Yep, yep. Back to shooting. Multitasking. I've got a quad core brain. One fuel, one supply, and a cask of mushroom wine, which I think makes two. Or did I dump it? Oh, I think I dumped it. Yeah, I dumped it in favor of the Blemicans, I think. Reduce my terror a bit. It's still uncomfortably high, though. I don't like it. Do I want a passenger? Mm, not really. Oh my god, I can put a Blemigan ashore again. Maybe you can just do it everywhere. Alright, let's get a port report. Ah, that's right, that also gives you a supply. And removes your hunger. Cool. Honestly, I don't really need to gather supplies, but I might as well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this. Unlocked with propagation, the Mangrove College no more than zero. That means if I propagate the Blemigans, they're going to eat up the resources and I won't be able to do that anymore. Ooh. It's so good. You get, look at this, you get free supplies. And, as far as I can see, you never lose any Zaylers doing it, unlike at Aestabel. Hmm. I don't think I want to propagate here. It's too good. It's the Aestabel of the... Southeast. Hmm. I mean, it's not like I need it. I don't need to get free supplies here. It's really handy, though. Eh, I'm gonna do it. Into the wild. It shows no interest in the village. It disappears straight into the jungle. But there, little Blemigan. Thrive. Thrive. And multiply. Oh god, it did. <laughs> it really, really did multiply. Eating up all the resources. And when I come back here in a couple months, everybody's gonna be dead. You're welcome. So yeah, I can convert my secret, or my stories and memories and stuff like that into secrets. I don't actually need secrets, though. I don't really have a particular reason to do that. I do have a lot of memories of distant shores, though. 26. Wouldn't hurt to use up seven of them. Cool! Okay, how many Blemigans do I have left? I think three. Yeah, three more. Let's go to Polythreme. <laughs> what the heck is a Blemigan going to do with Polythreme? It can recite poetry to the, the clay men, but I don't think they're going to give a damn. They'd probably just ignore it.
I might be able to take a load of stone men, or clay men, back to London as well. It's not very profitable, but... Oh, hello. Get behind him. Oh god, they're gonna shoot. Ah, balls. Bolt of spider silk. That's 50 echo worth. Nice, tear it down to 44. I feel like I was thinking a thought when I got into combat with that boat and now the thought is gone. What the hell was I thinking about? Oh right, taking Clayman back to London. Yeah, do I have the hold space? Um, I do. It's really not worth much though. You get like a hundred echo or something like that. Alright, let's get a port report. And <laughs> there we go, put a blemish in ashore. Oh, that's rude, look at that. It says, who knows what the living furniture will make of it. I don't think they'd appreciate you calling them living furniture. Actually, then again, they probably wouldn't care, would they? Curious alliances. The last you see of your violet murder fungus, it seems to be flirting with a fanged water pump. Strange bedfellows. <laughs> I love the writing. The last you see of your violet murder fungus. <laughs> oh, my little murder fungus. How you doing? Oh, you're so cute. What a bizarre quest line. These things are so weird. Alright, well, I guess I'll take some clay men back to London. Come aboard. Do I want to sell my Judgment's Egg for 600? Mm, no. Not taking up any hold space, and you never know when a quest might need it. Okay. Uh, two more Blumigans, right? Yeah, two more. Next up, Godfall. Do I want to go down or up? I think I should probably go up, if I remember right. Above the faces. Whoops. I wanted to see if I could aggravate the faces even more. I'm really licking my lips just thinking about how much money I'm gonna make for my red honey. Oh. I really hope the burning embassy or whatever it's called doesn't suddenly say, hey, we don't need any more. Take it to somebody else. Because that would suck. Let's get a port report. And put a blemish in ashore. A flash of violet. It's gone. Up the dripstone flank of the stalactite. Into a tiny tunnel. Hmm. I wonder if I could find it. If I went back into the Shattered Citadel. Is that where it went? Perhaps? Hmm. Alright, we got one more. And it looks like you can just drop them off literally at any place. Which means... I think... I think I'm gonna save the Blem again. Ooh, can you drop him off at London? Can I drop a Blem again in London? Ooh. That's a tempting thought. That would be interesting. <laughs> can, we, can I keep one back at my, uh... 
back in my apartment or mansion, whatever the hell I bought? Can I keep one as a pet? <laughs> that would be amazing. But no, you know what? I think I want to take it to Demo Island. Because that place is fungus, right? And they are fungus. And isn't this the place where I've seen like a random event where I've found a bunch of other Blemigans? Maybe it would find its own people and something special would happen. I don't know, but I'm going to save it. Yeah, I'm going to save it for Demo Island. Let's go hit up, uh... Well, might as well hit up Con Shadow, get a port report. While well, we're going by, buy some fuel. And then I think I'll go to Con's Glory and see if I can do anything with my spy network. I don't want to fight you. F off. Yeah, I can even put it aboard here. Or ashore here. Let's get a port report. Let's get some fuel. You know, I should probably just sell my casks of mushroom wine. I could really use this space. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, let's just sell it. Look at, look at how many outlandish artifacts I have. 14. How much do I need to get back to London? Uh, 10 should be enough, right? I think so. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty. is failing again. So it looks like I can keep delaying it just by using up supplies on her, but I wonder what would happen if I tried to administer the treatments from Adam's way. I can't remember if I've done that before. Let's try it. Remedy or placebo? Her breathing eases, and she waves you away. Rising, she forces a severe smile, nods, and lurches to her cabin. Her breath smelled like a skillet after bacon. <laughs> a skillet after bacon? Uh, what does a skillet smell like after bacon? Isn't it, does, doesn't it just smell like bacon? Okay, I guess I don't really know what happened there. Obviously it didn't cure her, but I guess it made her okay for the time being. I guess effectively it was just a replacement for using up one supply. Except instead of a supply, it's just using up the cache of placebos and bullshit medicine. Hmm. Listen to your dreams. What will you learn? Looks like it uses up my something awaits me in port. This seems new. Or is it? Flight. Five Zaylers dice for the corpse of a Z-Bat. It is ill luck for a Zaylor to kill a Z-Bat. One wins it, but in his hand, it becomes a freshly cut surface flower. His fellows cry out in envy and greed. They fall on him, and there comes a great rending of white petals. More petals fall, obscuring the masts, the ship, beneath, the false stars of the roof. It is very cold. You'll have to set a fire. I don't know if it's a good thing that I listened to my dreams there. Creepy. Oh, it looks like it actually did not use up my something awaits me in port. I guess it required it, but it didn't use it up. Interesting. <laughs> I can put a blem again in the canate. <laughs> Will that improve my spy network? Maybe if I could strap a GoPro to its head. Ooh. I can just imagine this little fungus critter hiding out in the, the vents. I, I don't think they have vents, but I'm, I'm just imagining this is like... The canates, you know, this floating canate place has got to be just like Deus Ex Revolution or something, right? Hiding out in the vents, listening in on conversations. Yeah, it probably works like that.
All right, so yeah, let me see if I can improve the network. Let's seek another opportunity. Let's gamble these things, uh, mix them up. See what else they want. <laughs> they just want cash. 250 Echo, huh? Or seven visions of the surface. Hmm. Spies have an extraordinary appetite for funds, bribes, hush money, peculiar equipment. 22% chance. That is not good. Eh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh great, my suspicion has gone up by two. Intercepted. The white and golds found your courier. No doubt they'll find a satisfying use for your funds. Alright, suspicion went, went up, but thankfully my network quality did not, did not go down. So, not terrible, but that was kind of stupid. I believe I still have enough trust, just enough trust, to enter the quarter. Yeah, I think if I gain one more menace, or maybe two more, I won't be able to trade. But for now, I'm good. So you know what? I should actually write this... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it looks like if you fail, it actually automatically switches up what you need to do. So it's it's, it's changed again. So once again, cash, which I obviously don't want to do. Or bait. Vital intelligence. Interesting. So I can actually use the thing that I got from the network itself to try to build up the network. Eh, let's do it. Sweet. It's gone up one more tick. From five to six. Boldness rewarded. The white and golds snap up your bait. Their spy catcher is too eager in pursuing more. You pass him plausible nonsense, and he's hooked. Alright, so my chance of getting... Uh, seeking intelligence was 75%. What has it gone up to? 90%. Nice. Can't do it because I don't have something that weighs me in port, but still. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, do I have enough fuel to get back? I've got nine. Plenty of supplies, plenty of fuel. We're good to go. Yeah, just head to the Salt Lions, then Demo Island, let off the Blemigan, and then back to London. Things are going smoothly. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Remember at the beginning of the episode, and like every other episode ever, I've said that I keep forgetting to check whether they have any ships? I forgot again. Let's check. No shipyard available. Okay. No ship here. You know what? I'm so confident in my Z-faring abilities at this point that I'm not even going to look at my map. Nope. I know where the salt lines are. Should we fight? Hmm. Unfortunately, it's the one chasing me, which is not a good position to be in. Nah, I'm not going to fight it. Alright, so <laughs> I shot a little bit low on the salt lions. Let's get a port report. Should I pick over the encampment? Mm. 
Nah, let's save it. Let's save my something waste being port for Demo Island. Yeah, because if I remember right, I think if you pick over the encampment here, I think it has a chance of doing kind of one of two things. I think it either gives you maybe something small like a supply, or if you kind of get the really bad one, you just gain one fragment. So it's pretty poor stuff. Not really worth it. How you doing, little guy? Can you feel your brethren? Your fungal brethren? In the jungle, the fungal jungle, the Blemigans recite poetry. Let's get a port report. And let's put him aboard. Or ashore, I keep saying aboard. <laughs> Wrong way. A kind of homecoming. The Blemigan propels itself into a springing leap up to a bullocus trunk, around into the thickets. It whistles as it goes, and deeper in the fungal jungle, a whistling rises in response. There are already Blemigans here. I knew it! It's gonna find its brethren! Oh, what's gonna happen? I wanna know. Ooh, I should probably accept a volunteer here. Yeah, it just costs one echo, and that'll replace the guy, the, the crew member that died Getting me supplies at Aestabel. But I also want to explore the island to see if I can find the Blemigans again. Ah, you'll have to wait for some other day. Let's get a volunteer. Come aboard. Please scrape the fungus off your shoes before you come aboard. It feels kind of lonely now. There's no more Blemigans. Aww. That's okay. We can always get more... Uh, what was it? Prisoners, honey? To uh, take back there and get even more Blemigans. It looks like you literally... Like, it looks like I could literally put Blemigans everywhere. It looks like literally everywhere. Which means I can keep doing that quest, because I only put... How many did I put? Six? How many did I get ori I got seven originally, and I used one up on the Brisk Campaigner's quest, right? So that means I put six around here. And I'm not, I'm not sure how many places there are, but there's probably like 30 places, maybe? So I could probably do that quest like five more times or something. That's assuming I only take seven at a time. I don't know what's going to happen with that, though. I mean, you don't immediately gain anything for putting them ashore. But there's that whole propagation quality thing, so I'm assuming if you come back later, something might happen. Like, it might trigger special events. Hmm. You ready for some boinkage? Three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. No, 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 no. That's not the one to boink. Gotta be patient. Gotta wait for the right time. Uh, I got you again. No, no, no. Boink. Oh, God! Oh. Alright. Before I actually do anything here, I am going to pray to Salt and Zeus and whatever Unter Z gods might exist that they do not search my ship. If they do, I'm probably going to have to pay 500 Echo, which will take out one-fourth of my total profit that, I've, that I will gain from selling the red honey. Which means I'm still going to come out way ahead, but I'm really, really hoping they don't search me. But they probably will, because by buying five honeys, it also increased my suspicion by five. So, yeah. Ah, balls. Alright, there goes 500 Echo. You hand over the exorbitant bribe. The duty officer takes a quick glance around the foredeck, and deems himself satisfied. 
You thank him for his pointedly perfunctory service. Yeah, so it looks like if you pay them off, you're guaranteed success. So as long as you buy enough red honey that you're still going to come out in the green, it's still totally worth it. Hmm. This seems new. Normally it's uh, collect messages from the harbor master, right? What, what is this? A breath of relief. Oh, this is the thing that comes up if your tear is above 50, right? The thing that resets it down to 50? Because mine's 58. Yeah, that's what it is. Forgot about that. Yeah, now I can collect messages. Okay. There is a crap ton of stuff to do, but let's do the first thing. Let's... I want to sell my red honey, but um, let's actually get more hold space. Let's sell my my dudes. Where's my... Where do I sell dudes? London? Yeah, here we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What is this? I can do something else with my red honey? Hmm. Alright, I forget that for now. Let's get rid of my claymen. Alright, there's my measly echo, but still, it's something. Now I've got plenty of hold space. Yeah, so I can do something else with the honey. Hold on, let me go back and make sure I can still sell it here. Okay, so I can still sell it at the Brass Embassy. So it's not like I have to sell it at the other place, but I didn't know that was even a thing. What? What's going to happen if I do it? I mean, I have... It's only going to take one firkin, and I have five of them. I have to know. I'm really, really curious. I'm going to do it. Honey at the crossroads. Wait here, the instructions said. Wear a crimson feather in your hat. An encounter with the mercies. A clatter of hooves. Hoarse voices raised in song. A phaeton pulls up beside you, slewing dangerously. Two bandaged figures sit hunched at the front. Honey, one croaks. Quickly. You pass up the barrel, and they heft it as if it were empty. I'm a terrible person, she tells you dolefully. But so are you. And it tastes so sweet. Here's your money. And they're off. With a cackle, a blown kiss, and a waft of cigar smoke. Okay, I'm kind of confused. Um, this says, wait here, the instructions said. The instructions from whom? I don't remember this. When did I get instructions for any of this? And who are the mercies? I don't know who these people are. I'm confused. Uh, but I do know I got 99 less echo for selling it to them than I do from selling it to the Brass Embassy, so no thanks. Screw you, weirdos. I'm gonna go sell them... Sell my honey to the devils. So much money. Oh, look at that. Although I guess I lost a lot of money doing something else, because I thought it'd be a lot higher than that. Still, though, that's a lot of money. Okay, what else do I need to do? Sell my bolts of spider silk. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta turn on port reports. <laughs> yeah, it's turn on port reports. Moving the great game. Do I want to turn that in? Uh, no. Okay, here we go. There's <laughs> two billion of them. I'm going to keep the one from Mount Palmerston. I can't believe I've been so many places. It really doesn't feel like it. Alright, there we go. Crap tons of fuel. Gain me a damn good amount of money, too. 
Okay, let's pick up an agent. Oh, I could even give her the move in the great game. Let's do that. 50 echo, thank you. Yeah, let's pick up another agent. Thank you. Alright, that's dealt with. You are dealt with. London. See if anybody new wants to come aboard. Zailer. That's all. Don't need a Zailer. As far as I know, there's one major officer that I have not gotten, and that's the something-something magician guy. He just doesn't seem to pop up for some reason. Do I want to repair my ship? Hmm, kinda. Let's see. How much would it cost? I mean, I'm not really using my Admiralty's favor for anything else, so, eh, what the heck. Whatever. Three favor. 24 echo. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, lodgings, I should spend time with my family. Yes, it's going to reduce my terror by quite a bit. There we go, lost 20 terror. Do I have any wounds? I don't believe so, so I don't think there's any reason to rest. Anything new to do with you? I do have my extra strange catch. I might still hold on to it, though. It does seem to come in handy every once in a while. Ooh, I can give her the Judgment's Egg. Uh, she probably only gives me money for it, though. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep it. I do have two ambiguous eliths, though. I wouldn't mind getting rid of one. 70 echo. Thank you. I'm really curious what would happen if I increase my uh, standing with the antiquarians by a lot. I do have a million outlandish artifacts, too. Let's give her a couple. I want to see my favor with the anti antiquarians actually go up. It says increasing, but it's not actually going up yet. Hmm. There we go. Increased to 8. I don't suppose that unlocked anything new? Well, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Well, I think I've dealt with all of my affairs, sold all my stuff. Now I have a crap ton of money. Let's see if I can buy a boat. Oh, sweet. Let's buy this thing. It's got one hold point. Five hold capacity. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Beautiful boat. No, screw that thing. Alright, so this is what I have right now. That's the merchant ship, which... I wouldn't mind being a merchant, really. Hmm... I don't quite have enough money to do it, though. I mean, literally speaking, I can afford it, but that only gives me a margin, like a, a buffer of like a thousand echo. And if you're running a, clue, uh, a merchant ship, you really want a lot of extra money, because you want enough money to buy a lot of merchandise. You kind of need money to make money. So yeah, if I don't go with that ship, then the next thing I'm going to buy is probably going to be this beast, which is 13,000. Man, I've only got like half of that. Hmm. Let's check out this thing's stats. So, significantly stronger. Hull. Hold capacity is way bigger. Weight is also much bigger. Double the crew capacity. Lower veils. Higher hearts. Okay, makes sense. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hell no! Nah. This thing doesn't have any forward gun slot. That means I can't use my Memento Mori. That's not going to happen. Nope. Sorry. Without that beautiful, beautiful weapon, my combat effectiveness just goes pew down. Yeah, it does have an aft gun, but nope. <sighs> I can dream, but no boat for me. It's okay, though. The more money I get the more red honey I can get next time I go to the Isle of Cats. 
It does feel kind of cheap to just sit around the Isle of Cats waiting for my Something Awaits Me import to come back and just buying more honey. It's kind of cheap, but again, I'm not exactly rolling in money here. And even doing that and just getting crap tons of red honey, it, it still is going to take a long time to even be able to afford this ship, so... It's not like it's some infinite money exploit that just allows me to instantly become rich. It really isn't. So yeah, here I am back at London, tons of money. The world is my oyster, the undersea is my... some... something. But yeah, I really can do pretty much anything at this point. The question is what, and the answer is I have no idea. So I'm going to come up with an answer for that question at the beginning of the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.